Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette. Kind of an impromptu video, which is why my makeup isn't completely on point. I really just kind of wanted to slap this eyeshadow on my eyes and tell you guys what I think of it. So if you would like to hear my thoughts on the new Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette, then just keep watching. <laughs> Alright, so I know my makeup looks a little on the crazy side. I couldn't be bothered to put on lashes, if I'm being honest. Um, I really just wanted to talk about the eyeshadow anyways, and that's what matters the most. So really quickly, let's go over the details of this palette. So this palette is $25. It is available right now on the Sephora website. It is made in Italy, and basically what it is, it is an extension of the full-size Natasha Denona Lila palette, which is literally five times more the price. So, so let's start with the packaging of this product. It comes in the simple, if you ask me, quite cheap for what it's worth um, packaging with the plastic overlay and the five colors in its name. But all of her Natasha Denona Five Fan palettes come in this packaging. On the back, it has the names of the shades, and you open it up, and of course you have the five shades. So first you have Poisonberry, which is a vibrant fuchsia with a blue undertone. This is matte. And you have Blue Dahlia, which is kind of the showstopper of this palette. And this is a purple with a blue duochrome sparkling effect. Then we have Raisin, which is a medium cool matte burgundy shade. Then we have Linen, a nude champagne metallic, and Flirt, a nude sand matte. So obviously this palette has three mattes and two shimmer shades. I'm just going to go straight into the quality of this guy because with the first mini palette that came out, which was the Sunset palette, I told you guys I honestly was very disappointed in this. I know it's only $25, but the eyeshadows are so tiny, and this just wasn't a good representation of Natasha Denona's formula. This guy is much closer to the actual Natasha Denona formula, so yay! The three mattes are beautiful. You will see in the swatches that this color here, Poisonberry, didn't swatch very well. It swatched very patchy, but that is just the nature with shadows of this shade. Purple, usually, it really always swatches patchy. You can't get away from it, but you'll see on the look that I did that it did blend out beautifully all over my lid as a transition shade and... Yeah, I had no issues with that. Uh, and of course, the two other mattes are really good. The shimmer shade linen right here, amazing. This is definitely true Natasha Denona quality. This honestly is probably my favorite shade in this palette. It's just so metallic and pretty and smooth and it's really the true Natasha Denona formula. Now, kind of a showstopper, like I said, is the shade Blue Dahlia, and honestly, it's the only eyeshadow color in this palette that I am a little disappointed in. Uh, so in all of the pictures and swatches online that I saw, this color actually looked a lot more blue. It's much more purple in person. I couldn't really find a great way to apply this shadow. I of course did it with my finger and I think that's the way that works best, but it does come off the most thickly foiled when you use a wet brush but I did have some problems with application with the wet brush and that it almost like it made my eyeshadow very harsh and patchy and other shades did not blend well on top or with it. So that's why I personally don't like applying it with a wet brush uh, and you will see that in my tutorial. So honestly, it's very disappointing that this shade is the worst in the palette, but you can make it work because it is such a pretty unique shade. It's what's all over my lid right now, but honestly, it does not give off as much payoff as it looked on the swatches online. You really have to build it up to get a really nice pigmentation from it and just, it's not that good, but it's really pretty, so you make it work kind of thing. <laughs> also with the shade, what I don't like, it's that formula where after you use it a few times, it starts to clump up and kind of get like almost hard pan. A lot of the new Anastasia palettes have that in their shimmer shades and this is very similar and I do not like that. Linen luckily isn't like that but this shade is just, there's a lot of things I don't like about it but I love how pretty it is so yeah. For the look that I'm wearing now, I started off with the shade Flint 
in my crease as my transition. I wanted to try every single color in this palette, so put that in my crease. And then I went right in with Poisonberry, that color that didn't swatch very well, and I used that as my transition basically everywhere, almost blending it into the inner part of my eyebrows. And as you can see, it blended out very well. It looks very pigmented, not patchy at all. So I do like that shade despite it not swatching well. Then I went in with the shade Raisin, which is kind of that aubergine color, and I just put that lower to my crease and then also really packed it in my inner and outer corners of my eye because I was going for a halo eye. And this is when we started to have problems. I took some of Blue Dahlia and I used a wet brush at first, and I don't know if you can tell, but it really started to look really weird on this eye. Let me... Like, even now you can see how clumped and patchy it looks on my eye. I really, truly had problems. And then, so that halo eye honestly had to go out the door. So off camera, I just had to go off camera. I had to fix it because it looked terrible. And what I did end up doing was just kind of putting it all over my lid. So it looks a lot better now. But as you can see, I did have to adjust kind of what I was doing to make this color work. Which I really shouldn't have to for a Natasha Denona product, but... It is what it is. And then I didn't show you on camera, but I took Linen, which is my favorite shade in the palette, and I used that as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. And then I did take some of this pretty light purple and put that along my lower lash line and then finished the rest of my makeup, obviously. So now let's compare it to the big Natasha Denona. So you'll see I do have uh, some video of them side by side. And honestly... <sighs> So with the sunset, I felt that this was quite unnecessary. I mean, if you had the sunset, you really didn't need it. But honestly, this palette, I think, is really complimentary and a great extension to the Lila palette because I always felt as if there was some matte purples missing from this palette to really complete it. And boom, they came out with it in this palette. And honestly, I am, it, this is advertised as an extension to the original Lila palette. And it honestly, it truly is. If you ask me, it really finishes off this palette to make it perfect. What she was going for with this was completed honestly. So if you have this, I would recommend getting this because I really feel like it completes the palette. It really is an appropriate extension. So basically, overall thoughts of this palette, for $25, this is a much better way to get a taste of the Natasha Denona formula. Way better than the Sunset, if you ask me. I think they did step up the formula in this palette. The only disappointing shadow in this palette was this one right here, which is kind of the star of the show, but it's really hard to work with, if I'm being honest. It just is. It still is really pretty. I do see myself wearing this color and using it some more, but I definitely I need to be more careful when applying it because it's not one of those shadows that does the work for you you have to do the work. So with that being said, I do recommend this eyeshadow palette. I do think it's really pretty. And if you're into purples, yes. Oh, and also one thing that I think is amazing is that if you just use literally these two shades, you can get a super neutral look. Yeah, no, I really love this palette. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.